Hello folks. Welcome back to Practical Ninjas. Hope you are doing well. It's been so long since we uploaded our last video. But here we are. Thanks for showering us with your love and support during these difficult times. At the time of recording this video, our community has grown quite a bit and we are happy to welcome all our new subscribers. Well, without further ado, let us get going. We have already covered the basics of digital electronics in our previous videos. From this video, we will be starting to understand combinational logic. This uses advanced circuits and ICs. In this video, we will learn about a special device called a multiplexer. Consider the image here. We can see three incoming roads at point A and one outgoing road. To avoid accidents and allow safe and smooth flow of traffic, the best way to handle the scenario is to have a signal at point A, which turns green for each input road while the other two remain red. So, at a time, only traffic from a single incoming road is allowed to pass through. Sometimes, we might need to implement such logic with our digital signals for routing purposes. The device that helps us do this is called a multiplexer. Multiplexer, or MUX as it is known, is a digital circuit acting as a data selector. At a time, it only allows data from a single input line of the multiple ones to be forwarded to the output. The allowed line is selected using selector lines. MUX can be used to transmit analog as well as digital data. But today, we will understand MUX with regards to digital data. A MUX with two raised to n inputs has n selector lines. A MUX is identified as n is to 1 MUX where n indicates the number of input lines. Let us understand the basics with the 2 is to 1 MUX. As the input lines are 2, using the 2 raised to n formula, we should have one selector line for this MUX. Consider the diagram here. We can see two inputs on the left, A and B. O is the output and S is the selector line. As per the theory and working, we know at a time either A or B will be connected to O. But how to select A or B? The hardware is constructed such that when S is low, A will be connected to O and when S is high, B is connected to O. Hope this part is clear. We will now understand the truth table. To create the truth table, we will include S as an input along with A and B. So, if the number of inputs are 3, the number of rows will be 2 raised to 3 that is 8. When S is 0, the output O will be the value at A. When S is 1, the output will be the value at B. So, in short, the truth table will be like this. To keep the video short, we will end our discussion here. But wait and stay tuned as the next video on multiplexers will be uploaded soon. If you have stayed with us till here and are interested in learning about basics of PLC, please find the link in the description or in the top right corner. We have developed a course on PLC basics in collaboration with Intern Shala. You can check out the course if you are interested. Until next time, stay calm and keep learning.